Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about Greg Lynn's manifesto, Folding in Architecture, and about Greg Lynn's overall life. Greg Lynn was born in 1964 in North Olmsted, Ohio, United States. He graduated from Miami University with an undergrad degree in architecture and philosophy. Later on, he got his master in architecture in Princeton University. Greg Ling is an architect. He also is a creator with other talents that he brought into his designs. He owns a practice named Greg Lin Form. Because of his amazing work in architecture and other fields, Greg has won multiple awards, which are the following. Golden Lion, United States Artist, 2013 Award for Teaching Excellence, Arts and Letter Award, Dr. Honoris Causa, Residency Prize, and 30 Under 30, The Watch List of Future Landmarks. Greg's inspiration in most of his designs is technology and movement. He is known by the way he adds robotics into his design process. He has also done numerous studies on how movement relates to architecture. I will call Lin's design style computer A designs and biomorphic architectural forms. His designs are heavy in technology, but he also uses natural shapes and forms to create his amazing designs. Like I said, Greg Lin is a creator, and architecture is not the only thing he has done in the last few years. He has left a legacy of numerous books. Books where he talks and leaves us his foundings and studies of design and architecture. Some of his books are Greg Lynn Form, Archaeology of Digital, Rabolog, Folding in Architecture, Animated Form, Folds, Bodies and Blobs, Intrigacy, Composite Surfaces and Software, Visual Catalogy, Architectural Laboratories, Any Magazine, Predator, AAVCU, and Fetish. So how does Greg Lynn fit into architectural discourse? Well, he has been involved in combining the realities of design and construction. And he has been an innovator in redefining the medium of design with digital technology. His discoveries have helped him just like help other architects to investigate and study more deeply movement into the science and the forms of nature into the same designs. And how all of this comes together to make amazing architecture that will last years and years to come. Ling is important for architectural history since it has bring a new view of seeing architectural. He has said on various occasions that architecture should be static, that it should represent movement not only in circulation, but physically. He compares buildings to robots, robots that have an important role in society. Over the years, he has incorporated this into his designs. In the next slides, I will be showing most of his designs. Some of them have pretty hard names, so sorry for the pronunciation. I will start with architectural buildings. These are the Bloom House, Copperside Pavilion, Newport Dermatology Institute, Original PFF Headquarters, Metics Headquarters, New PFF Headquarters, Residential Tower Study, Korean Presbyterian Church of New York, Cincinnati Country Day School, Site Santa Fe, 5900 Wildshire Restaurant Pavilion, Seopolis Housing Block, RV House Prototype, Atlantis Sentosa Resort, Ark of the World, World Trade Center Site Design, Sadijat Museum Pavilion Number no. 3, 
esta lecture hall transformation of Clayburgh housing OMBH2 house I beam museum BMW design house Cardiff Bay Opera House Strander Sears Tower Port Authority Triple Bridge Gateway European Central Bank Competition BMW Central Building Leipzig Lake Khalifa Gateway SF MoMA Barge Gallen Kant's Museum Yokohama Pier and Lord's Clothing Store. In this following slide, you can see Greg Klin's environmental work, has designed numerous statues and museum pieces that showcases the beauty of nature and all the shapes and forms that we can find in it, which are more examples of the biomorphic style he uses. He has done designs for the day to day. In these pictures, you can see some of his designs, like chairs, tables, silverware, even phone case protectors, and other sculptures that can be used like centerpieces or just decoration. Link's essay, Folding in Architecture, highlights that the constructivism represents the world as a site with various differences the architecture contradict by representing these forms. Linz also explains how the variation in the structural components are made possible by the computerization of design, construction and fabrication processes. This manifesto is a more in-depth explanation of his work and his design process and give us a better idea of his concepts. So the question is if Will Lin's manifesto affects the profession and I believe it already did affect the profession. He has recently made a new design in Singapore with Frank Gehry that touches all of these concepts into one big design. He is also inspired multiple students and people coming into architecture to investigate and dive in into a more technological approach and a more in-depth study of nature and the forms and how to digitalize the shapes that we obtain by doing this type of studies. I believe Greg Lynn has and will in the future keep inspiring new architects to push the boundaries of movement into our designs.